My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as a humble servant of God, I am here today to speak to you about a topic that is close to my heart the curse that can befall a family. It is a topic that we do not often like to discuss, but it is important that we do so, as it can have a profound impact on our lives and the lives of those around us. There are five factors that can lead a family to be under a curse. The first factor is the lack of faith in Jesus Christ. When we do not have faith in Jesus, we open ourselves up to the influence of the devil. The devil is always looking for ways to attack us, and when we do not have faith in Jesus, we leave ourselves vulnerable to his attacks. The second factor is the lack of prayer in the family. Prayer is the foundation of our relationship with God. When we do not pray, we cut ourselves off from God's grace and protection. We must make time for prayer in our busy lives as it is essential for our spiritual well-being. The third factor is the lack of love in the family. Love is the greatest commandment that Jesus gave us. When we do not love one another, we open ourselves up to the influence of the devil. The devil wants to divide us. But love brings us together. We must love one another as Christ loves us. The fourth factor is the lack of forgiveness in the family. Forgiveness is essential for our spiritual well-being. When we do not forgive one another, we hold on to anger and resentment, which can lead to bitterness and division. We must forgive one another as Christ forgives us. The fifth factor is the lack of obedience to God's commandments. God's commandments are given to us for our own good. When we do not obey them, we open ourselves up to sin and the influence of the devil. We must strive to live according to God's commandments, as they are the path to true happiness and eternal life. My dear brothers and sisters, these five factors can lead a family to be under a curse. But do not despair, for there is hope. Jesus Christ is the answer to all of our problems. He is the way, the truth, and the life. If we put our faith in Him, pray to Him love one another, forgive one another, and obey his commandments, he will protect us from the devil's attacks and lead us to eternal life. Let us pray together now, asking Jesus to bless our families and protect us from all harm. May he guide us on the path of righteousness, and may his love and grace be with us always. Amen.